Frank. Frank. Frank, what a man. Frank is all about capturing real, authentic, unedited conversation. Bottom left. Okay, I Yours is perfect. Yeah, mine. I've, it's a bit bright there. It looks like the, those are open, don't they're they're windows. Looks okay from here. Looks okay. It's okay from here. I was wondering if it's a bit dark because I usually shut my shutters because you've got the whole of my town wanting to kind of sell me socks and things. Oh, you're on the street there, is it? it well, not really, but there's lots of people who like to like try and sell you things you really don't need. So. Uh, oh, you mean like those guys selling stuff like three socks for a euro or something like that? Or three <laughs> yeah. Pairs? yeah, yeah. Very good. Um, <laughs> So you're living, are you living in Spain? Yep, I live in Spain, yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Um, I kind of like that this is really short notice and that it's just happened, if you know what I mean. Sometimes <laughs> when I have things in the diary and I kind of go, oh God, I don't know if I fancy that today, but it's kind of nice when it's spur of the moment. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah. I had nothing planned today except for I'm just going to close Facebook so I don't get pinged. Uh, turn off my phone. Um, yeah, so yeah, great. Um, I'm gonna just put my phone on quiet. Um, I don't ever do, I don't ever write down questions or whatever. I don't have, you know, I don't have an interview style. I just go for it. I just jump in off the deep end and then. Um, yeah, yeah, it's always best. Yeah, I think so. And also, I think with this sort of thing as well, you can't really, I mean, if, the, if you had a list of questions, it would be over in a minute, like, really. <laughs> um, yeah, and the questions are no longer really relevant. They're, they're just sort of ideas, really. They're not really yeah. relevant. No. As if anything is relevant in this subject. <laughs> yeah, it's very <laughs> true. Uh, it's funny, I was watching your latest, I watched your latest um, YouTube and at the start, I think you were um, bitching, not bitching, uh, but about not, uh, you know, a little contribution here and there would be nice people. And I was kind of amused because I did this, um, this film, uh, it was Zero and One. Yes. It's like, it has, I think it is something like 55,000 views. And I probably have earned a hundred quid from it. It's amazing. It's yeah. amazing. I think it's because people think that this message is spiritual and therefore it should be given like some sort of unconditional mother or father or something, you know, like it's owed. Yeah. But, um, people forget that, you know, you have to spend time and money on things. Well, I think it's the internet, though, too, or just, yeah, you know, yeah, where yeah, yeah. the internet is just, a, you surely can get it somewhere for free, you yes, know what I mean? Yes. And that's where we'll air, and I'm as bad as anybody, so downloading movies and all that sort of stuff, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> and the ones that are in the cinema, you know? Um, <laughs> but no, I was kind of amused by that. Uh, a little bit of give and take, I think you were saying, come on now, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on, guys. Yeah, throw a few squids away. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I've only done I've done one with um, Rebecca recently, and we chatted for an hour and a half about this and some. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I had a kind of half a thought about. There's, you know, when you have a website and, you know, there's a place you go to for chats or meetings, say for Lisa Lennon non-duality, there's almost an implicate, it's implied that you know something. 
that's what yeah. you know when somebody has a website in this world we live in it's you some you, you know you must know something yeah that's the implication yeah yeah, yeah. it can't be avoided yeah. almost in fact, it's the opposite it's the absolute other end there isn't anyone to know anything hmm. who would know who yeah. would know that there's the body sitting at a table what is there to know about that so really it's the opposite. It's always the opposite of what the apparent separate person thinks. Yeah. I, th I think that is the way we are, uh, the world works though. It's, you, there has to be a purpose for a discussion, even, you know, say me right now, maybe I have a half of a faint purpose. I don't really have a purpose, but maybe I have a vague, but that I'll uncover this. But you know what I mean? Because I live in the world of almost everything has a a purpose or, you know, an agenda. Even if it's subtle, everybody yeah. and everything has, a, has to have a reason. Whereas this sort of thing just doesn't. And plainly, painfully, beautifully doesn't have, from what, it doesn't have any agenda or any purpose, any reason. Yeah. That's right. And even, even the apparent person having a purpose has no purpose. It's no different, actually. Mm. It's, the same, it's the same expression, but seen from the apparent separation, it looks like them, the story runs, I have a purpose, but the, even that story has no purpose. It's just a story running in the end. Mm. Yeah. A story that's... Um, deeply believed yeah but yet it's not it, 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 the difference or if there is a difference it is um it's not just obviously there's people out there talk about you know you need to get rid of the belief but it's not a belief it's psychosomatic happening it is psychosomatic you almost say it's a bit like having a condition yeah yeah because it, it isn't anybody. It's, a, it's a, like a psychosomatic condition that believes itself to be true. Mm. And when that's kind of seen or revealed to nothing, from nothing, it's just seen that all that was just never true. It wasn't real. And it's, it's funny, I... The amount of times you hear, and I, I, it's kind of, you hear, well, in, um, when the self falls away, it's nothing, uh, no, there's nobody left to claim their own absence, and there's nobody there, there's nobody left. So all there is is what's happening, right? And then you, you hear that, and of course, and you, I see it constantly, people go, well, but yeah, but you, you've still got it, though. And then the answer is normally, no, I don't have anything. That's the difference. You have something. And, um, but still, because of the way we work, it's still, for me, it's still that sense of, sorry, bear with me now for a second, actually, because I, I, you know, Ke Kenneth Madden talks on this sort of stuff from time to time, but he, sent, he put a little video up of, um, he was up in the mountains. He was after running in the mountains. And he just said, this is it. It's just he was sweating and he was, and he was going heart beating, wind on face. This is it. And it was kind of, you know, when I was listening to him, it wasn't, it was so obvious that the enjoyment was almost, it was so obvious that it wasn't somebody enjoying that, it was, which sounds that it was just that, that was the freedom. The freedom was just him talking, or just the talking itself was the freedom. That's what the joy was, was that there's no longer this, well, there's just no longer this hijacking of the body. You, uh, yeah, you know well, I mean? there's no one left to claim it. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a, an enjoyment when it's there of, of, of this. I mean, th this, this is it you know, this, what is apparently happening here is it, and there can be an enjoyment of that, but it's not claimed by the person of having or not having. It's just enjoyment. 
what the person does, it claims it as I've got it or I haven't got it or I'm there or I'm not there and now I have to keep it and oh no, I've lost it. It always, that's how the person lives. It lives in positioning and claiming of what's mine, what's not mine, where I am. Yeah. But is it, you could say like personally, it feels like almost that uh, uh, occurrence of, you know, it's, oh, I've got it and I haven't got it. Or it's almost that the survival of always trying to kind of claim in some way, shape or form, trying to be there in this, trying to, trying to squeeze through the eye of the needle somehow or other. Yeah. And that's the person. And it's kind of, uh, uh, that is the, the it may be that it, that's what non-duality exposes the insanity of the seeker. You know, when it's presented plainly with nothing. Yeah, because it's not true. None of it's true. It just lives in this dream of position. I'm here, that's there, and I'm gonna claim it all as having got something or not got something. That's how it lives. It lives like that. It's either like that or it's not. It's either there or it's not. You know, you can't have a halfway there because there's no there in the end. There's only what's happening. There's no there. It never arrives. Like this situation that's apparently happening never arrived. You'd have to go into a story that this arrived somehow, but it didn't. Because it's always been, what is this? It's always been this. So that's why this so-called, um, that people think that, that, that Lisa here is a no me. Well, that's not true. There's just no me anyway. None of it's real. So nothing ever arrives in that way. You never arrive at a point where there's no me because no one ever arrives there. The whole thing of somebody is, is, is not true, it's not real. So the whole kind of construct of that, as you say, psychosomatic condition, just totally just evaporates, like the dream that it is. Um, two thoughts coming to my mind was, that happens obviously despite all the efforts of the person trying to get it. That untanglement happens. Yes, because it's not happening to anybody. Even the sense of self is not happening to the sense of self. There's nobody doing the me. There's just as much somebody doing the me as there is somebody doing the cloud or the water or the space, the air. Nobody's doing any of that. So there isn't even the person doing the person. The person claims I'm doing it and I can get out of it. But it's, 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 not, it's not in control. There's nobody in control of that. So there's no way that anything can be done about it because really this, this whole field of whatever you want to call it, this, everything, nothing, is also is the appearance of separation. So there isn't actually anything separate in it. There's just this, which is whole, appearing as not whole. What is this, Doug? What the fuck is this then? <laughs> <laughs> Cruel joke. But what, what, like, what is this then? What, uh, oh, this, this, this. Yeah, what is this? What, uh, Nothing that can be, nothing can be said about that. It's sitting at a table speaking with Frank. And there's no need to know, there's no, nobody who needs to know that, what that is. It's a complete mystery. But so, but obviously, I was talking to Rebecca about this, there's obviously that feeling of, must be just so blatantly uh, the case. <laughs> it must be such a bang in the head that it just, this, of course it's this, you know, because I, I, I see that a lot where it's kind of, it's such a, it, it's not like it's minimal, when it is seen, <laughs> it, 
must be like a box in the face then. It's not like just, you know, an experience or something, you know, something subtle that comes and goes or whatever. It must be self-evident then. It doesn't require any explanation, does it? It's absolutely self-evident and you do wonder why you didn't see it before. <laughs> you do wonder why you didn't see it? What, what do you mean by that? You do wonder, well, you why do, you you do wonder like how it was missed. You wonder like, well, how was it missed? But you, you, I understand how it was missed because there's a searching for it and that misses it. It is this appearing as searching for it, but it's missed because it's just the obviousness of what is apparently happening becomes obvious, present. It's just this, it's sitting at a table speaking. When there's nothing looking for it, it's really obvious. That's why a lot of people laugh when they have that kind of glimpse. Like, oh my God, of course, of course. But there must be then, is it the self, it must be some sort of remembrance or recognition or something. That it's this... an absolute recognition. But it's not, the, it's not the dream of the person that recognizes it, it's just yeah. recognition just happens. Like everything else that apparently happens. And so, like, is it is <laughs> what the f oh, yeah. what the fuck is it though? Like, what is, is so if it, it's it's not made up of loads of separate individuals in time and space trying, on a rock floating in the universe. It's it's ha it's aliveness happening. You know? But that's not even so. Well, we we put words to it, but they're they're absolutely um, a failed attempt. Okay. Really, the best you can do is just say there's um, um, there's there's an aru a room apparently happening. There's talking apparently happening. It's a bit like you know, um, for for years and years you've been trying to like discover what rain is, and you like you know you you stood in the rain you're looking for the, you're looking for the reason for the rain and the all these things you're looking for. And then suddenly it's just like, it's just raining. Mm. It's just raining. It's just room. It was never anything else. It was never some sort of amazing enlightenment where I'm now knowledgeable about everything. Yeah. People ask me all sorts of mad questions about things that they think I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, but then, you, you, so so obviously, whatever. But is, there is a recognition then that w wall and chair and everything is the one thing. Is, is that it? Is that the, it? Must be a recognition of home or not home or just this is what I am. Is there even a sense of this is oh this is what I am? No or not. This, I'm no, every, no, there's, there's no, no I am. There's no, there's no I, am. I am. No, there's just sitting in a room apparently happening. And it was always this, whether it's a room or a bed or an outside or a shop, whatever's apparently happening is actually what the seeker is looking for but can't find it because it's trying to find it as a thing. It separates it into something that I will gain and I know. The recognition is, it's just already here. It's already here. But the recognition is only there when it's there. Otherwise, it's just life going on as normal without looking for it. Just functioning, happening, tea, bed, movie, whatever. So there's just, but there's no more, there's, there's no trying to... When the self falls away, there's no trying to figure out what this is or what, what's no, happening. Or, no, it's no, there's no, one, there's no, one, no, there's no one to want to figure that out. There's Nobody no knows it. No, 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 there is no body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is no body, Frank. There is no body. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, 
Yeah, so when there's no body, how, how, what, what could figure it out? Yeah. And so there's nothing being, to figure out in the end. There's nothing to figure out. Being a person, then you say to yourself, right, well, that needs to fall away. I need to fall away for it to be seen. But when that happens, there's nothing left like to see it. It's just, it's like uh, Tony uh, Parsons saying something about winning the lottery and nobody being there to collect the winnings should be. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah. There's no one there to like actually have gained anything or lost anything. There's no gaining or losing. Yeah. Do you know what I like about this message or whatever this thing is? Because like, only a really poor man with nothing would claim, would not even claim their own absence, would talk about this man or woman. This, you know what I mean? But no, because it's so little on offer, you'd ha you, uh, somebody would rarely try to... It's why this message is so rare in a way. Do you know what I mean? Like a, a, a rich person will have loads of things on offer, loads of apparent things on offer, but when there's, when it's, it's a, it's a poor message. Do you know what I mean by poor, by that like? Yes, yes. That, and that's maybe the freedom of it, that it's, it's in a way, it's so obvious that it's, uh, it's, there's just nothing for you in it. But yet you'd be still, you're still here like, Frank, I, I'm still here, you know, it's still drawn to it, you know, it's interesting. Apparently. Apparently, yeah, fucking word. <laughs> I know. Uh, the apparent is the killer. You're, you're going on, yeah. yeah, no, I know what you mean. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's the idea that Frank's still here listening to it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Frank is still here. Frank's doing a podcast now, at least. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> that, that's... So you kind of, it's the under, the recognition that this is, it's not like from, a, from every perspective, I should be saying this is a lot of bullshit, uh, Lisa, but obviously the, I, I recognize it or I sense it, I feel it, I can, but the words or knowing is almost, it is like trying to uh, satiate I could, uh, your thirst with a cup with no water so you can understand this but you're still thirsty if you know what I mean you still have that you're not satisfied and then so knowledge or it's just so empty almost to kind of go oh I know about non-duality really non-duality is just absolutely not a thing so good luck with that enjoy the idea of not being there or knowing about that you know what I mean it's it's knowledge is is empty it's so it's so empty. Mm. Yeah. Obviously, it evaporated at one point. This idea of the 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 seeking stopped. Yes. Over there. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it, with Lisa, it stopped. Lisa stopped. And then everything just continued. But obviously, there must have been, was there a dead point? A dying point? Was there a last breath? Yeah. Yeah. Can but it remember? happened when nobody was asleep. <laughs> Did it? You, I really, that's, if I, if I was ever going to die, I want to die in my deep sleep, a deep sleep. That's what I've always said that. Can I die in my deep sleep? <laughs> Instead of loads of people around me feeling sorry for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you yeah. died in deep sleep, did you? You just uh, never came back to life I, in the morning just, time. The body just, I just woke up and it just wasn't there anymore. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. a nice way to go all the same, isn't it? No, no. I, don't, I think it would be the same if the body was awake or asleep. It doesn't really matter. It's just a, it's just not there anymore. Yeah. It's not as if somebody died. I mean, in, in the in the 
apparent process of coming and going and coming and going, the me, the me condition, being there and not being there, there is a sense of, um, a sense of something going, but when it's gone, it's like it was never there and nothing was ever there. Nothing ever did, nothing was ever, <laughs> nothing ever happened. Yeah. Nothing ever happened. No. There was no one for anything to happen to. So Everything that has apparently happened is this. It's always this. Even the whole memory of apparently waking up and being confused <laughs> um, is this. It's always here. And would you say being confused? Um, what did you mean by that? So when you woke up that morning and being confused, is it, or what? Yes, there was confusion, yeah. I did something, I knew something had happened, but I didn't know what it was. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I had to call Tony. Did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And can you remember what you said? It's a matter of interest. Um, something about, I'm not sure if I'm in limbo, if my body died yesterday under a bus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I do, yeah. The brain couldn't kind of handle it. Yeah. Wasn't sure if the body, if something had died and this was some sort of other realm all sounds a bit mad. It was a bit mad, actually. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but the brain is so used to that kind of condition of being someone going somewhere and all being in this apparent, you know, appearance of time, which is all assumption and speculation. So, you know, the, the brain and everything lives in that speculation of somebody who's come from somewhere and is going somewhere and when that whole speculation completely just disappears it's just, everything is just like <laughs> everything comes to a dead stop yeah that's interesting because you're almost like i live it's almost like you have to hold the whole thing together like earth and time and 2018 and everything yeah. almost the all, all of this together yeah this is no this is reality this is life i'm alive here and this is in a world and this is so that just is free and yet and all that's left is what's happening all that's left is absolutely not knowing or nobody to not know even there's nothing left there's nothing, there's just nothing. There's just what seems to be happening. So all those packaged up assumptions and ideas of time and my life and my relationships and my freedom and my this and my that, it's all like, it's a bit, it's a, it's a world. It's like a separate world, even though it's still what is apparently happening, but you, you can't see it from in that world. That world is like everything to the person. It's really true. Mm. and then that just disappears and it seemed that none of it was real yeah the the thing of you know and nothing ever happened and nothing ever is happening uh, like um You know, I was just thinking something, something, I'd be saying to Kenneth something and uh, I'd, I'd say to Ma, well, I was initially, you know, blah, blah, my holidays and blah, blah. And then I go, to, well, should that never happen though? Did it, Kenneth? And he goes, no, it didn't happen. No. <laughs> and so, is it, but is it, <laughs> and I kind of go, yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck <laughs> you. And I move on and, you see a party once kind of go, well, it did happen. And it just, that, 
also feels a little bit not true to start going, no, but it definitely, you know, it definitely did. Um, but um, this, that, but is the, there's a sense of a puff of smoke then, is there, is it, you know, like when you say nothing happened, there's still a, a gust of wind that, of, of it, is it, or is there even a trace, a sniff of it, no, of anything happening? Do you know what I mean no. by that? No. No. No, no, no. No, it's just... <laughs> it's just... It's just what's happening. It's just this. It's just this. Yeah. I mean, can you find anything happening? Really? Can you find anything at all? I mean, can you find anything? Coffee. They can take everything. But have you found it? Is it found? <laughs> no, probably not. I don't know what I have it here anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm. The whole idea of finding it is, is nonsense. Mm. It's the... It's incomprehensible the, that you know you know for something that operates in a time and space you know again uh, uh, you can I can almost see it you know or sense this you know this yes the timelessness thingy like, yes you can sense it because it's the case that's why it's like people say it's like it's obvious you're recognizing it because it's the case. It really is just what's happening. That's all there ever is. And that is really obvious. But within that also there can be that contracted sense that can't help but look for it because, because that's how it operates. That's, that's, that's its operational function is to seek and to become whole. Yeah. Whether it's through a new car, a new job, a new lover or freedom. That's it. That's its purpose in life. That's all it can do. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And even even in this, that's the kind of the at its very best we'll say if that's a thing but this sort of communication exposes the insanity of that crazy person because all their you know that crazy purpose-filled human that is striving and they're presented with nothing when it's let's just say when it's a certain way when there's when it's like when it's clear like water do you know what I mean by that it's not muddied and there's a little bit of juice in it to get the person interested or it's not wine or beer <laughs> or champagne in some instances and you can pay 10 grand for those I'm sure if you wanted to you know the communications yes but when it's presented as this it exposes that movement of you know when you talked about that's what the person does they just to seek and when they're presented with non non duality or whatever the fuck it is, this sort of nothing message. Um, you can hear that there's nothing to get, and yet some part of you can't help but be attracted to to the freedom, maybe not the free or the well, but one part of me might be the curiosity. The, there must be something though hold on a second though it's a different type of nothing you know it's a it's a nicer type of, it's not just nothing don't tell me it's just nothing to the point of when it's you know you can hear it it's just there's something about it then that draws you back well it's drawn me back anyway yeah and that all happens for no purpose and no reason yeah there's, there's nobody here who's trying to get anybody to see something. Mm. Yeah. Or cares. <laughs> there can be a delight. There can be a delight when, you know, another human goes, oh, yeah, 
oh my god and it's just laughing you know or, or something sometimes or weeping or but it's not for any there's nobody doing any of this this is the absolute expression of of life or nothing or whatever no words can touch it everything is always landing at once not in time and every single nuance of it is the one expression without reason or purpose or yeah purpose assumes going somewhere yeah without purpose so in that way for the person is utterly useless and utterly hopeless <laughs> yeah See, you can't but help but even the idea of, oh, am I getting, you know, this close thing. Do you remember, uh, do you have thoughts or can you remember the seeking that would have happened? Yes, vaguely, but only after, um, there was seeking years and years ago, seeking, seeking, seeking. And um, I'm not going to say apparently to all this, but you get, you get me. There was all this seeking. <laughs> yes. going on. <laughs> and then there was a giving up of the seeking because I was just had it with seeking. And then a few years later, the whole the whole thing just dropped out. And there was a kind of, what's this? What's this? And then the apparent person came back again. And then I would, then the person was back into seeking because something had happened. Mm. But it thought it happened to it. So we're trying to find it again, trying to find an absence of itself as if an absence can know it an absence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And this is before I'd even heard of non-duality. Yeah. So seeking started again. And I kind of, you know, did a bit of teacher shopping. Yeah. Mm. It's funny the way you described that, that, uh, that, thingy that what's this like years ago I was saying this to Rebecca but that I remember just suddenly something happened in me going and I I had a very very fixed view of the world and I uh, and I can remember it's just everywhere I was going it was kind of going what the fuck is this and I couldn't get my head around the fact that suddenly there was something happening and that there could be nothing, but there's something. And I just kept that kept. And then when I was, I wasn't pleasant. I wasn't, you know, this wasn't, I wasn't going, this is wonderful. It was, I was, this was just a reality perspective, suddenly shaken. You know, it was yes. kind of, that this is all appearing. Life is <laughs> appearing. Yeah. And, and now that just kind of passed away, we'll say that sort of thing. But then and that's that kind of did scare me a little bit. But then there was a bit of drugs, a bit of weed involved um, at the start. But I remember just days afterwards, just the idea that this rigid view of reality could in a moment be fucked with. It just had never occurred to me that, you know, it could be altered so easily. And um, yeah, yeah. And then, like, I would have had uh, lots of, uh, I even talk about experience, some bullshit, but, <laughs> you, well, it is, like, because it's kind of, but, yeah, it, but, yeah, it, yeah. but it, it, it's still, uh, you know, I remember spending time at a Tony Parsons weekend and coming back from it just really fucked off, like, really, really fucked off from the whole thing. What was I going to this stupid talk for when, you know, and what am I trying to get? I don't even know what I'm looking for. And and then suddenly I was kind of, all that swarm of bullshit was just appearing and was happening by itself, totally and utterly like a, and then it was kind of, what the fuck was that all about? And then this kind of blah, 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 anyway, blah, 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 even total bullshit, right? All of what I'm saying is total bullshit. And still, I'm you're here going, yeah, but like, yeah, but I'm missing something. Like, even when I was looking at that thing that Kenneth sent me, I kind of, I would have replied to him if I was being really honest, going, that makes me a little bit sad, even that you are so, because I can see that causeless joy. I can almost, it's a, 
and you, it's that sense of that causeless thing, that causeless joy. That yeah, that I seem to feel that I am missing. Yeah, well, it, it thinks that, that somebody's feeling that joy and therefore is getting some sort of satisfaction out of it or well, fulfilling kind of, completion. I have to say that that's not true in the sense of I did sense, because it's, because it's so natural, I did sense that personless joy I could almost you know I can touch that feel that I know it's not that there's a gain I absolutely can sense and, see, and it's almost like hearing about your this is when I see it's almost hearing about an old lover and you're kind of going oh they're doing really well without me I know that sounds ridiculous <laughs> but it's that or that kind of a loss something you know and that's there that's a reality it's a reality for me I suppose we'd say that yes. Of something is yes. is slightly missing. This yes, that's how the me lives. It lives in, it lives in loss. It lives in lack. It lives in separation. I want to be joined with the, the lover. I want to be joined back with the lover, and there I can find eternal rest. But the thing with the, the kind of the, the setup of the me is that it won't ever find it. Because it is it. Ironically, the, the, the appearance of the me is the lover appearing as, as a me. Mm. So there's nothing separate to find non-separation. There's nothing separate. What is seen is that the sense of separation was never separate. It was just an appearance in the whole. Nothing was ever separate. That's why it's so hopeless. That's why it's such a hopeless search. Because it's, <laughs> it's this, you cannot find this. You can't find what is happening because there's nobody to find it. There's no separate person who can find non-separation. That's the dilemma in the end, isn't it really? You know what I mean? That's where the, it's, there's no room at the inn. It's not that, but I know why that's come to my mind. <laughs> but, um, do you know, it's, sorry. Like that's where the kind of two worlds just say hello to each other. And, you know, and it's, <laughs> You know what I mean by that? You know that there it is two worlds in a way. Two, it is two perceptions yeah. of the world. It's uh, yes, it's two worlds, but the one energy, yeah. or the one aliveness, or whatever you want to call it. They're only apparently separate. Do you know what I fucking hate? I hate that. Um, so say there you'd be a split second, multiple split second recognitions, and the moment I uh, try to go after them, they're just gone, and I've no recollection of what that split second recollection is or recognition yeah. is. You know, it's kind of like that's so obvious there, and then and no, absolutely gone. Like that happens all the time. It's kind of like you're walking around and it's going, "What the fuck was that back?" And, but it's almost your just brain can't, compre can't, um, can't comprehend it at all. But in, in, even because it's it just it just evaporates like that. Like. It's a <laughs> yeah, those those moments are the absence of person. 
Mm. So there's nothing there to comprehend it. And the person comes back and goes, what was that? Now I want to comprehend it, but it can't comprehend its own absence. Yeah. In those split seconds, everything is revealed, but you can't, there's no comprehension of it. When I was listening to your um, videos, um, <laughs> uh, you, you have a very uh, no bullshit way about you. Do you know what I mean? It's, um, <laughs> it's, it's an interesting expression in a way. I mean, it is, uh, it, it, you, <laughs> There's an awful lot of laughter as well when you're saying it, you know, when you're talking about it. It's kind of interesting to watch. I kind of find that amusing. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Because it's ironic, I think. Uh, it's kind of ironic. Go on, what, what do you mean? Well, people are looking for this when it's already here. Mm. Appearing as a person. <laughs> yeah, like... It, <clears throat> I'm long since this idea of wanting um, to see purple chakras and fucking be wise or know something or you know have yeah. the, you know be the king of the world of gurus and <laughs> all that uh, you know just be at peace and at one and all that bullshit um, yeah uh, I had no, no interest in that sort of thing. Um, uh, the ordinariness of it is what I suppose, you know, life enough as it is. Uh, yes, yes. That's really, that's clear. And it's also clear there's this just energy or movement wanting it to be other or seeking or whatever. It yes. Comes, comes and goes. Yes. I think what is looked for is life happening without the burden of seeking. Yeah. I think with this, I think with this message that um, all this kind of guru's ideas, enlightenment ideas and chakras all seems to all just fall apart yeah. because the obviousness is kind of recognized the sense of self keeps operating it, until it doesn't. Mm. It, it's like it becomes a, a hopeless search and you know the whole operation of the me knows that but instead now it's looking for this I need to find this, which I, this, which is where I find the irony kind of amusing, <laughs> even though I know it's a bit painful for the person. <laughs> when it's already this, what you're saying. It's already this, it's just like, I'm trying to find this. People ask me questions like, 
well, do you see the table? What do you see when you see a table? I'm like, well, a table. <laughs> As if there's something special in the table that they're not getting. Yeah, that it's some booming energetic. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can see right through the molecules the table. Yeah. yeah, it's like I can see the truth in the table. Mm. When, when the table is being missed by looking for the specialness in the table, the absolute obviousness that there is table is utterly missed by looking for the mystery in the table. Table's not enough, has to be something special. So that I feel that I have arrived in the special place. The whole thing's a total dream. I used to think that, um, so I grew up a uh, Catholic and I, I used to think, um, you know, the way they had the virgin birth. It couldn't be, I remember just thinking one day going, it's not like birth is not spectacular enough. It had to be a virgin birth, you know, like birth, <laughs> yeah. everybody recognizes they really have no idea what's happening with it. It just is happening. And we don't yes. even understand how it all comes together, really. I mean, we have a knowledge of it, but not really, we know the say or part in the whole thing, apart from whatever that's, yeah, um, yeah. but then, it, you know, birth, just not enough. Well, let's make it a virgin birth. Then it'll be a special birth. Then it'll yes. be really... Yes, yes. Because you can't deify somebody from normal copulation. Yeah. It's easy to deify somebody when it's just like, you know, beyond the realms of normal copulation. Yeah, Jesus was came from wherever and that made the his birth special. Realm. Heavenly realm. Stardust. I used to make a joke about stardust <laughs> coming down. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> they, yeah, it's just that everything, even that, which probably is, it's a magnificent thing in this life, probably, that uh, it is, and, but yet we still have to make it something other or somehow add to it in some way, shape or form. To, um, yeah. I guess you could say it's like the deifying of everything. It's like, I want to dare, like the me wants to I, I, uh, deify the table. There must be something from the heavenly realms in the table that I'm not seeing. No, it's just a table. <laughs> yeah. And that's so uh, crap for the me. What do you mean it's just a table? There's nothing in it for me. So I, I mean, I absolutely totally get, I remember from memory and from whatever, I totally get, I can remember even the sensation of tying a lace and going, it's just tying a lace, it's not, go, it's not going anywhere. Just, <laughs> yeah. so it's, um, Sometimes knowing an awful lot of shit about something is can be a pain in the hole too. Do you know what I mean? Knowing about non-duality is, uh, or understanding it even, or, you know, uh, can see why, like somebody, a friend of mine who had never talked to about this sort of stuff, um, watched the film I did Zero and One, and I was totally not expecting him to enjoy it or like it, but he couldn't get over it but it's you know coming from a place of um just no fucking interest whatsoever yeah in this whole thing and then some you can be then yes you can't unhear it either though really if you hear it in such a way you can't there's been times i'd say oh i actually really wish i never heard about non-duality <laughs> Yeah, you can't unhear it. That's that seems to be the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. can't delete it. Like, there's no. It's like a virus. It's like a virus inside your system, almost. Yeah, but you can't know. You can't know non-duality. There's nothing to know. 
Yeah, there isn't even an ultra violet. Know it. Trying to know it is the non duality. Appearing is trying to know it. It is this. Appearing is trying to know it. That's why it's so pointless. But beautiful too, because it's just that's how this is expressing. Yeah. I, I really like the pointlessness of it. I love the pointlessness of it because it just seems to be <laughs> endlessly pointless, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and in that, it just, it seems like a, a totally different realm almost. It's so wonderfully pointless. Yeah, yeah. You know, so expansively pointless. That, yes, um, yes. It's not pointless in the way that the person thinks. The brain would say, yeah, the mind is all pointless. It's pointless. Crazy. Um, no, it's just gloriously pointless. Yeah. Hopeless. <laughs> mm. Yeah, hopelessness is a nice thing. There's something in hopelessness. It, there's almost, it can be a, a feeling of... Well, I see the person can always make it back from hopelessness too, you know what I mean? But it, um, But there is something in that rawness uh, anyway yeah yes i mean the rawness the rawness of what we're speaking of is 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 like literally shouting <laughs> and that's what is sort of kind of seen when there is no person it's just like oh my god it was all it's just here it's just this it's just this i can't comprehend it i can't understand it there's no one to comprehend it it's just here or and not here. <laughs> not here, right? <laughs> yeah. Not here as in the way the brain interpreted it as set in time and space and packaged up into nice little neat boxes of you know time and space. Mm. Real reality. Mm. It kills all questions as well, really, doesn't it? It does, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Flat it's a flat liner. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Nowhere to go. Because there isn't anywhere to go. There's no one to go anywhere, and there's nowhere to go. <laughs> there's no, there's no, there's nothing else here. There's nowhere there. There's nothing, nothing here. In that regard. Oh, jeez. I, yeah, I think we're talking an hour anyway. Oh, I enjoyed that. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I enjoyed talking with you. It's really nice. Likewise. Yeah. Um, are you doing uh, any talks or I saw something about, did I see something about Spain or something? If you want, I, I don't know. I mean, I know you, I'd put up information about your website. But, um, okay. Yeah. I, I'm doing a two day talk in November in London Yeah. with Neil's thing. Don't know if you know Neil, he runs Seeking Nothing. No. He hosts speakers. Uh, so I'm doing a two day talk there and I'm going to do a, five six day talk here in may okay. i don't do that many talks because um i kind of don't get around to it <laughs> so i yeah. do everything mainly internet because you it's... prefer that do you yeah yeah in a way because um 
but a friend is helping me out in May, so that makes it a bit easier for me. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm a bit lazy, really. <laughs> I think there is an organic thing about this, though, as well, isn't there? Really, it kind of seems to be that way. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, it, well, it just is, it just is as it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm doing the talk here in Spain because um, I can't be bothered to go anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, if you like the conversation that I just had and you'd like more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Frank, 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 Frank. 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 Frank